Hello, and welcome to the Argyle AI Decision Maker Expo, live look at cutting edge tools. My name is Vicki Lynn Brunskill with Argyle. It's great to have everyone joining us today. A couple of notes before I turn things over to our esteemed speaker for this session. First, a quick reminder to stop by our sponsors' virtual booths at any time during the event and for the following week. Our partners are committed to providing you with valuable content and a great overall experience today. At any time during the event, you can visit those virtual booths from the main agenda page. Those do include complimentary materials materials, information, and meet and greet opportunities. Also throughout today's event, you have the opportunity to win one of several prizes. So please do check out the prizes and raffle rules tab of the interface to see how you can earn points. And now without further delay, I'd like to introduce our speaker, Imran Aziz, Director of Product Management at UiPath. We are so excited to have Imran with us for a thought leadership presentation titled UiPath Autopilot in Action, five use cases that supercharge productivity. Welcome, Imran, and over to you. Hello, everybody. My name is Joe Edwards. I'm on the product marketing team for UiPath, and I am thrilled to present to you today UiPath Autopilot in Action. We're going to explore five use cases for this exciting new AI technology coming to UiPath, and it's going to show you how it's going to make your entire company more productive. Today, I'm joined by our director of product management, Imran Aziz, who leads the autopilot efforts. Um, before I give a quick intro, Imran, maybe you can uh, give a little bit on your background and what brought you to UiPath. Hi, everyone. My name is Imran. I'm excited to talk to you about autopilot and how it can enable you to unlock employee productivity. Prior to UiPath, I've also had the fortune to, uh, to work at Microsoft and Apple, and uh, both on enterprise and consumer software. Awesome. And I've been at UiPath now for uh, oh, just over five years and have worked on different product launches across that time. UiPath Apps, Automation Hub, Task Capture, our Academy. And I love all those products still. But I think what's really exciting about Autopilot is how it brings together the entirety of the platform and makes uh, all of our end users way more productive. And we're really excited to show you that in action today. So the bulk of this presentation is going to be uh, demos. So you'll see Autopilot in action for a variety of different personas. We'll also do a quick uh, overview of the UiPath platform for the uninitiated. And lastly, we'll show you how you can get started with UiPath Autopilot. So first up, um, you know, what is UiPath Autopilot? And I think it's important here to set some context on our journey to Autopilot. You can see it's kind of at the end of our timeline there. But as I mentioned, I started working uh, at UiPath uh, way back in 2018. and all along that journey, it's been incredible to see all of the practical AI use cases that have, have uh, been on the platform. Everything from our computer vision technologies to document understanding to communications mining. Uh, we've been no stranger to using AI tech in our platform. And even internally, we've used our own technologies to save more than $50 million. What's really exciting for me uh, with Autopilot is that brings the it brings the power of the platform to the end user in an entirely new way. Um, but I'd really love to get Imran's thoughts on on the power of the platform. As he mentioned, you know, he comes from these incredible companies, a pedigree of, of, of Microsoft and Apple. What attracted you to UiPath and, and what you saw possible with Autopilot, Imran? Thanks, Joe. Yeah, in particular, you know, with both Microsoft and Apple, productivity of information workers was a key scenario. And I've seen, witnessed, you know, through work on Bing, through Office productivity software, Notes, and iBooks at Apple, that there's a huge potential here. And now with Gen AI, it definitely infuses that action capability, information capability, and can take the automation platform to the next level, which is what brought me to UiPath is the ability to automate these manual steps and processes using Gen AI. Awesome. Awesome. Well, let, let's jump into what Autopilot entails. Um, Imran, can you give us a, a, a glance of like where it shows up for the different personas in our platform? Absolutely. So, you know, one of the key things with Autopilot and Gen AI is that we focus sometimes on the end user, which rightly so unlikes a lot of potential. But I uh, wanted to start first with the developer persona. So, you know, developers build these applications, workflows, automations, and data backends that are so key to what AI can enable end users to do. And so with Autopilot, we have capabilities built into Studio where developers can, uh, in a very low friction manner, get an app run up and running, guide, Autopilot can guide them to do that, have a built-in backend uh, data service that binds to it, and a workflow that is also recommended to them based on whether they use documents or prompts to be able to guide Autopilot to inform that workflow generation. 
Uh, so I'm excited. I won't say too much because we have demos prepared, <laughs> Joe, to show that. But uh, for developers, super excited about what, how it's going to improve productivity. Now, once you've developed these workflows and automations, uh, or even just in any application through UiPath platform or externally, it's important that it's well tested and that it performs well for the customer at the end of the day. So we have Autopilot for test, where it will be also announcing, where it can help you generate manual test cases, can help automate them. And last but not least, it can help give you insights into how those tests improve the overall workflow. And then business users equally will, uh, can discover new opportunities because sometimes you have a gut feeling for what automations we need to develop. But uh, there's a lot that can be gained through insights of uh, what people are doing, how organizations are optimizing different workflows, and those can present new automation opportunities. And then we'll be focusing a lot of time, uh, especially towards the end of this session, on the everyone capabilities. So how can we empower end users to not only garner information from Gen AI, but be able to carry out actions and reduce and get time savings enjoyment out of the work that they're doing? So I'll have a couple of demos there as well. Yeah, I think one of the key things from this slide we'd love to take away is that Autopilot is being infused into the UiPath platform. As Joe mentioned, you know, we have a rich history of using AI to further work information productivity. But now with Autopilot, uh, both within Studio and with an assistant, those capabilities will be lit up so that you, AI can help you do more with, uh, you know, in a less frictional manner. We also wanted to emphasize that in addition to the different personas, the various apps uh, UiPath provides, the first party apps, they will, uh, they will provide autopilot capabilities, but also we're designing it so that you can integrate autopilot within your own apps and ecosystem, recognizing the fast that, fact that you know, sometimes it's not an option to use just uh, what UiPath provides as an application, but rather you'd integrate it with your legacy or line of business apps. And then, uh, the uh, last but not uh, an important part of it is that cross-platform is a key part of what we hear from customers. They want uh, uh, AI capabilities that can work across heterogeneous environments. So whether they have uh, different companies, uh, productivity software deployed or backend systems, they want AI to be able to stitch and glue and work through all these systems. So we're keeping that as a key design point for autopilot. And then availability on both Windows and Mac, uh, when it comes to our software, such as Assistant, we learned that uh, from our own internal deployments, we'll talk, Joe will talk a little bit more about is uh, within our sales team, uh, there's about 20, 30% of the people or the workflows that use Mac. And uh, we couldn't deploy autopilot to that uh, sales organization unless we provided both Windows and Mac capabilities. Yeah, very well said. I, I think for a lot of us, uh, we just like uh, you know your career, Imran. You spent some time at Microsoft. You spent some time at Apple. I think a lot <laughs> yeah. of us are, are cross-platform uh, as well. So that's really exciting to see for Autopilot. Next up, um, maybe you can tell us, you know, just about the the open, flexible, and responsible nature of our our AI approach as a whole and and how it relates to Autopilot. Yeah, absolutely. So this is a little bit of a deep dive into what I mentioned before. It is. Uh, really important for an AI system to be able to leverage data that exists outside of that closed farm system. So LLMs and what we will provide in UiPath as knowledge within the autopilot AI system is definitely important, but equally or maybe even more so, it's, it's like the data that it resides in your documents, in emails, in uh, various corporate networks and uh, processes that are taking place that you can learn from. So we have built a fabric using an AI trust layer at, at the bottom, which makes sure that governance and uh, security are, keep, are kept forefront. You can leverage that information into both first party products, uh, generative AI models, and there's over 70 specialized models that UiPath provides. So that's from the left-hand side going into the AI system. And on the right-hand side, we also recognize there's a heterogeneous environment at most enterprises so that you, know, you have applications that AI needs to interact with, which don't necessarily have an open AI API. And so in UI automation can le be leveraged by AI to perform those tasks within existing apps, just like a human would. And then if there are API capabilities available, we provide a lot of connectors through which our AI systems can connect with those apps to be able to do things behind the scenes without a human in the loop. 
But um, all those capabilities are required to make the AI platform really, truly shine. I, I love that. And, and I think, um, you know, what we often hear from customers is the importance of, of trust kind of underlying all of this, right? Um, Imran, maybe you can speak a, a bit about how uh, you can leverage the AI trust layer, which um, Autopilot is also built on, and, and how that shows up for customers. Yeah, I think from a trust perspective, the number one thing I've heard before we talk about features of Autopilot is what's the data governance and privacy story for Autopilot? So we are giving customers full control over where their data resides, which data is used within for even per department, not just for the company overall, but like, for example, a sales department having access to a different set of data than marketing department or HR is equally as important as overall company sanctity. And then uh, be able to control which roles can access what data with an autopilot. And this is all uh, governed using the traditional uh, UiPath platform and systems orchestration capabilities. Uh, but what we have done is with the trust layer, layered on additional capabilities, such as PII filtering, which is that some information might need to get filtered out per user level before it's even stored uh, and audited and monitored, even within the company. So th those kind of new capabilities we've built, along with how you can monitor the usage of LLMs and models within your enterprise, you can sort of tailor which department potentially has access to certain capabilities or not. And then uh, I, I did want to mention, Joe, is that uh, the LLMs that we host, let's say, let's say we use ChatGPT4 or others, are all going to be in a secure environment within our cluster. So none of the data will be used for training uh, of those external LLMs. It's all hosted within our Azure cloud. That's awesome. And I'm sure that's a relief for customers as well. Um, that ties in really nicely to some of the early autopilot feedback we've heard. Um, you know, what's most impressed me about this rollout with the product team is that, yeah, they are intentionally building governance in mind. So we, that's why we wanted to, again, start with the trust layer and, and the governance structure that um, is set up around autopilot. So with that in mind, um, let's start getting towards those demos, right? And giving you a sense of how people are thinking about autopilot today. I love this quote from uh, Flo at, at Dentu. She talks about the um, power of uniting the patchwork of, of app-specific co-pilots that are out there and empowering users to take action based on specific business rules and application stacks. So if you've tried ChatGPT, Gemini, you know, all, all of the different LLMs that are out there, um, they do some really cool work with, you know, brainstorming a poem, or, or even nowadays you can use some like text to literal music or video creation. But one of the big things that we've seen missing in the market is that people want to be able to take action. So I love how Flo's quote um, gets to how autopilot can be used for that. And we're seeing that play out live for us internally. So like I mentioned before, we've saved over $50 million using our own tech over the last few years. And Autopilot is no exception to that journey. So right now um, we have a, about 140 sales reps who are leveraging Autopilot and collectively they're saving 260 hours a week, um, which is the equivalent of, of adding six full-time employees to the team. Um, there's a great quote here. You know, I was either doing this manually or if I had time to do it or not doing it all if, if I didn't have time. We, we've talked with a lot of AEs. You, may, you all may have even have seen um, a commercial that, that they've started doing for us about their use cases for autopilot. Um, and, you know, one of my favorite quotes from it is I use it for literally everything um, as a brainstorming partner, as a way to, uh, to again, take action on the benefits of, of Gen AI. It's been really exciting. And practically, you know, our account execs are using Autopilot to prepare for customer meetings, to expedite the way that they can do financial analysis, and again, as a writing and brainstorming partner. Um, it's It's been great to see how folks are, are using Autopilot as, as like an additional teammate. And then we, the great thing about Autopilot for everyone is it truly is for everyone. So, um, you know, Imran, I'm sure you have examples too on the product team, but I've heard of folks who are using Autopilot to analyze automation opportunities. Um, to write user stories more succinctly, to uh, add customer feedback to, to product board more seamlessly. So it truly is a, a product for everyone, you know, from our sales team to, to our product team. And with that in mind, I, I know that this is all about demos, right? So we want to jump into actually seeing Autopilot in action. Um, Imran, I think you have a, a bunch of great demos lined up for us. Um, what, what are we going to start with here? We're going to enable developers who, you know, all the way from pro developers to people who are new to the platform to easily be able to get from natural language 
to a fully working app and a workflow. And you'll see an example of how that's being created uh, and also be able to use our computer vision and other document understanding technology to be able to point to something saying, hey, that's what I imagine this to be. Can you make actually make it happen so it's executable and used by both external and internal customers, uh, internal employees? And then last but not least, it you know guides you to next steps so that you know what uh, you need to build because sometimes you ideate, but the next step's not quite clear. And also maintainability of that workflow over time becomes important. So Joe, why don't we roll the first demo and uh, have Alex uh, walk us through how developer productivity can be improved through Autopilot. Autopilot for developers transforms how you automate. In the next few moments, learn how our leading AI tools seamlessly integrate into your development process. Enhance efficiency, minimize errors, and supercharge your productivity to automate the most important processes. Today, we are automating the process of onboarding customers in SAP by creating customer data and populating it into our system. Typically, this system is not accessible to new customers for self-service, so we will build a public app for this. Previously, it would take developers a significant amount of time to get everything working end-to-end. With the help of Autopilot, all I need is to take a screenshot and to upload it to apps. Using our computer vision and large language models, a new application is built in seconds. With just a few clicks, Autopilot generated the required fields to onboard the new organization. And it's not only the front-end, since the data service is generated automatically to store a record every time the application is submitted. Apps allow me to write expressions to fully customize the task I want to accomplish. With the help of Autopilot, I will describe in natural language what I need and it will help me by generating the expression. I can also ask for more changes by like making the input to lowercase. Of course, for this process to be fully automated, I want to save the data in some external systems. For this, I will describe the job I need to be accomplished. And I want to create an account in Salesforce to use the recent UiPath capabilities to summarize, to notify the team over Slack, and to create a task into our tracking system. Once again, Autopilot will assist by converting the description into automation steps that can be configured and customized in Studio. These features enable developers of all skills levels to accelerate the creation of automations and to significantly reduce the complexity, making it a truly low-code experience. The output is an automation constructed using our activities based on the steps described in natural language. Autopilot populates fields as instructed, such as filling in values for the team channel. For the next step, we want to use your automation to input customer details automatically into SAP. Additionally, Autopilot can analyze the target application and based on our user description, it can understand the elements, identify the target selectors and construct a sequence of activities to fulfill the task. In our case, we want to fill all the details. At any time, we can monitor the output and we can review the corresponding activities and the identified elements. For today's automation, I would like to also input the standard address section so I can send a new request to expand the already identified steps. Once I am satisfied with the results of the UI automation via Autopilot, I have the option to return to the Studio Designer to refine and complete my automation by doing any necessary adjustments, ensuring that the automation operates smoothly and meets the required specifications. For the final step in my automation, I am required to input a value for the account number in Salesforce. In accordance with company policy, this ID must be a unique value which is achieved by appending a timestamp. I will explain this to Autopilot to demonstrate how simple it is to generate expressions from business specifications. Empowering developers to reach their peak, Autopilot for developers is a game changer. By transforming complex automations into a few simple steps, we are not just saving time, we are crafting a revolution in efficiency. Let's explore the end-to-end -end flow now that the automation is live. Any supplier will be greeted with a welcome email that invites them to self-onboard via an app. This public app, generated with Autopilot, can be accessed by any vendor and then can provide the needed information. Submitting the form information will trigger the automation that onboards the vendor in SAP. 
This is using your automation and we can see the robot in action. Once the registration is complete, the vendor will receive an acknowledgement. Besides SAP, the account is also registered in Salesforce and the follow-up task is created in Asana. Remember that all these steps were sent to Autopilot in natural language, which assisted us in building this automated process in less than 5 minutes. I mean, when I see that, I just think of the uh, tremendous time savings that, that is for uh, not only developers, right, but also the end users who are now able to fill in this, this app instead of uh, having to wait for somebody to copy and paste that information into SAP. Um, really spectacular. Imran, what stands out to you from uh, the developer experience in terms of what Autopilot will enable? Yeah, two things. One is even if I'm not a pro dev who's building RPA automations day in and day out, now I can do it. So really quick to onboard new people to do it. And even if I'm a pro dev who's used to doing it, it becomes so much quicker. So time savings. And then, you know, everyone can resonate with all these internal apps that we use sometime when we're like, man, it'd be nice to automate those. And um, yeah, and then and bringing it the power of external customers, connecting it with internal apps through a workflow that can double check things is, is super powerful as well. That's fantastic. No more uh, having to Google uh, what what VB expression I need to use for, for lowercase or something like that. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. So after developers, right, um, there's a pretty expansive testing story too. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, so as I mentioned, you know, building apps or workflows and automations is sometimes the first step. Uh, developers do their best to make sure they're robust, but there's a lot of thought process that goes into good test methodologies, in, including figuring out edge cases, what's the full, full complete gamut of cases you need to generate. So Autopilot for tests, again, integrated with Studio, enables testers to do that. And even developers who are building stuff uh, that they want to focus more on development, but they want to leverage it to uh, increase the testability of their apps and, and workflow. So let's roll the demo, see how Ingo will walk us through. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Autopilot for Testers, a collection of advanced AI capabilities designed to revolutionize testing as we know it. With Autopilot, you can generate manual tests from requirements in Test Manager, automate these tests in Studio, and gain real-time insights into your entire test portfolio in Test Manager. Now, let's see it in action. In Test Manager, simply go to your requirements, select one of these requirements, and click Generate Tests. Autopilot then gets to work analyzing the details of that requirement to promptly yeah, suggest the top manual tests for that requirement. After that, just select the tests you want to create, hit create and your manual tests are ready and linked. Now let's head over to Studio to automate these manual tests. To do that, select one and with a single click, bring it into Studio. Now this converts the test steps of that manual test case into code comments. With your object repository holding the technical components of your application, Autopilot has all the tools it needs to work its magic. Just hit generate code and it begins. Autopilot then analyzes the test steps, taps into our driver framework, and there you have it. Your manual test is now automated. Now let's head back to Test Manager to see how Autopilot helps to analyze the test results of all the test cases we just automated in Studio. To do that, let's go to the Test Results section, where all your test results are listed. Now to make sense of these hundreds of test results, simply click Generate Insights. Autopilot then sifts through these large volumes of data, and once done with analyzing, Autopilot shows you which tests are failing, gives you insights about why they are failing, and also provides actionable recommendations to fix your failing tests. Now that's analysis made easy. So that's the essence of how Autopilot brings the power of AI to every phase of testing. So what's the motivation behind Autopilot? Well, we developed Autopilot with one goal in mind, to enable testers to always perform at the highest potential. In essence, we aim to empower every tester to be the best. Thank you so much. Ingo uh, always does such a spectacular job with, with the <laughs> demos. Um, you know, what stands out to me there is that uh, in product marketing, we often talk to you know, market analysts about you know, what, what our roadmap is, what stands out to them. And from what I hear from from our, our testing guy, Matt, um, when we showed this to analysts, they said there's truly nothing like it on the market that lets you generate test cases, 
and uh, operationalize them, you know, to virtually have endless test cases. It's really powerful. So um, anything else stand out to you there, Imran, on, on the Power Autopilot for testing? I was going to say that was amazing by Ingo. The capabilities that he showed are very relevant to developers as well, because sometimes you wear both hats at companies yeah. where you're building stuff and you're testing. So, you know, anything you can reduce friction on to generate high quality automations is, is, is well sent. Well, speaking of reducing friction, I, I think this next one uh, is going to reduce friction for everybody uh, in, in the company, right? So, yes, uh, super excited to talk about what we're, in addition to developers and testers, we are now empowering with autopilot end users, business users to be able to leverage, uh, you know, time-saving capabilities of autopilot. So one of the key things we built into the system is the ability to get information from any place that you're actually present doing work, whether it's Outlook, it's Slack, it's Teams, or it's line of business application, you can in get information into Autopilot so it can ingest and recommend next steps to you, be able to perform actions for you from there. The second aspect is there's often a lot of enterprise context, such as corporate policies, um, you know, for sales that, you know, scenario that Joe mentioned, a uh, big book of data about our customers, about our products that people want to leverage with AI. And then be able to guide you to next steps so you can perform those actions to reduce um, you know, the, the time that you spend on doing work is an important aspect. Gen AI is infused, and that's one of the reasons we can build this kind of unique experience is we're leveraging Gen AI and a UiPath intelligence layer on top of it to be able to perform these work tasks. And then uh, last but not least, uh, governance and security through the AI trust layer is a core part of the system so that you know we, we can build, earn trust with both employees, but also you can uh, drive what roles can access AI at, at your company. This is a little a more of a deep dive into Autopilot. So when I talk to customers, they, uh, what I'm getting a request for is to deep dive and understand how Autopilot actually works and leverages information. So here on the left-hand side of the screen, the user is prompting Autopilot that you'll see in the demo, getting responses back, recommendations. Uh, we've built Autopilot into a product uh, our assistant product. So it'll just natively be part of that experience. Uh, so you can interact with that there. Uh, Autopilot will have access to hundreds of pre-built automations will be shipping out of the box that you can leverage. But uh, clearly if you're building your own automations, it'll be able to leverage those as well. And then uh, through uh, enterprise context retrieval augmented generation, we'll be able to leverage documents and other data sets that you have available within your enterprise. These could both be static, but also dynamic sources. And then um, at the bottom, what you see is uh, Autopilot's abilities to be able to interface with various other layers, such as like, you know, using integration service connectors to be able to connect with other sources, uh, leverage over 70 document understanding models uh, to be able to process digital paperwork, and uh, also gain access to other type of information. Awesome, awesome. Let's uh, see it in action. So in this case, Autopilot is going to simply take the screen on the left. I'm going to grab a screenshot off the next conference I want to attend, bring that into Autopilot, the site panel on the right, and ask it a basic question of whether it can help me with the travel plan. Autopilot knows my company's uh, policy, so it can recommend what flights or hotels I need to book. And additionally, it can render a map of the area and uh, know the weather that, that was there based on the context that was provided. It, now it's going to recommend a next step, which is, hey, upload your passport to see if you can actually travel to this conference because it's in Vienna. So I can upload my, my passport or my ID card. It analyzes that, understands the country policy, and then recommends that I file a ServiceNow ticket, which is another automation that's configured in, to be able to uh, do an internal procurement ticket so that I can get that passport uh, renewed. Uh, all these are next steps that Autopilot is able to garner either through information the user provides or enterprise context that's hooked into the corporate policies that are configured. Here is a, similar to the dev Autopilot, you can see how easy it is to build any of these automations that are surfaced into Autopilot. So this is simply just opening Studio or Studio Web and building that automation, tailoring it, and then giving it to Autopilot to run.
The second stage of my journey at the conference was getting, there's a lot of speakers presenting there and some of them were our customers I wanted to connect with. So I can simply, in this case, what I gave Autopilot is a snipping of the first page and asked it to reconcile the speakers with what I, we had as internal customers and recommend for me people that I should connect with. So uh, I got a few out of these that were our customers that I wanted to touch base with. It, it was able to um, Slack my team, who was uh, a couple of people were attending the conference that, hey, I'm gonna go connect with these speakers and uh, be able to set up a meeting accordingly uh, if you wanted. And this last part of this demo, I, I, there was a one particular customer who wanted to follow up in a deep dive. So what I did is asked Autopilot for a subject matter expert at my company who can uh, field those questions uh, because it has knowledge of that enterprise context. And then also the information I provided, it recommended a couple people to me. I think in this case, it was Drew and Tuan. And then uh, subsequently, it recommends an action where I can simply just schedule a meeting. Now, one key aspect of Autopilot I wanted to show is that action part, which is where we really leverage the strength of the UiPath automation through both automatically filling in these parameters and carrying out actions. And these are, uh, as I mentioned, hundreds of these will be out of box, but you can custom develop any of them so your end users can realize the benefits. Wow. Um, and then that's that's it, Joe. Joe, if you want to pause for a second. Yeah, what's so cool to me about that use case is like th those are all steps that you might not have been able to have time to do. You know, you're busy with the product team. There's dozens of product managers who are working on autopilot features. I know your calendar is always booked. Like, it, can you speak more about the power of like being able to basically have autopilot be your ever present assistant throughout the day? Yeah, absolutely. I think, you know, for me, I was getting overwhelmed at the conference I was speaking engagements of preparing for that and then dealing with customer engagements. To me, 15 minutes spent on autopilot to reconcile and get that done and then let my team members know so they can help me was just priceless. That's that's what was the aha moment for me. And general productivity is important. The second scenario I think I'm going to show next is about something we've heard from customers around things that they do where time savings can be helpful. Awesome. So in this particular case, um, uh, you, I'm a loan officer who is processing loans manually. Now, these loans might come from emails that I receive from uh, clients, might be through a company website, or might be handwritten forms. And what Autopilot can do is, it can similar to what I showed with the vision capabilities, now it's going to go be able to get my emails, relevant emails for loans, and it's going to be able to, within those emails, be able to get attachments that might be relevant. So in this case, there's an attachment for driver's ID. And, and I can sort of see, okay, there's a couple of loan requests that are relevant for me. Uh, uh, please get the attachment related to the loan request that I need more information about just to go to the next steps. Uh, but uh, similarly, it could have been a handwritten form. And using our DU models, we can easily analyze these attachments and documents and be able to give that to Autopilot to, uh, to do next steps with. So here, uh, I'm gonna just pause for a little bit. I think it's uh, it's analyzed the information from the driver's license attachment and is able to provide some next step guidance. Here, uh, what I'm gonna do after I have that information is be able to use an internal application, which uh, UI Bank, in this case, uh, the person with the loan officer works for, is gonna submit through. So Autopilot figures out the right information necessary be able to use UI automation capabilities to be able to submit that information and let the user finish the task. Um, you can pause at this point, Joe. I just uh, explain overall, this is just one example of how currently there's a lot of manual steps, a lot of information entry and workflow next step guidance that someone has to remember in their head and do repetitively. Imagine if you're getting tens of these, hundreds of them a week, yeah. it easily builds up. So. With autopilot helping you save time for each step, helping you save time through multiple steps, because we now have capabilities to do multiple tasks chained together as well. And eventually be able to say, please save this and then do this for loan applications I receive for the day. You can sort of imagine how the productivity gains multiply. Yeah, it's like you're able to hit copy and paste on this time saving uh, 
automation for this one loan officer and she can share it with everybody on her team. That's awesome. So I think next up, we're going to uh, explore another facet of the, the productivity savings of um, Clipboard AI, which is included within Autopilot for Everyone, right, Imran? Yes, so Clipboard AI is a capability we basically have in public preview. You can easily download and use it currently today. Uh, it, we, were, we did get a, a, a Time Magazine Award, Innovation Award in 2023, which we're grateful for. And the real goal of this is that, you know, how copy and paste was invented to just take information repetitively, uh, put it in a Windows or Apple clipboard and be able to paste it into another document. Clipboard takes it the next step forward where you can understand a structured document, unstructured document, take the fields, and then paste it to any app. Uh, the examples I'm going to show in this demo are Excel or a web form. Yes. So in this particular case, what I want to show is I, I'm getting a quotation request in the form of PDFs or just like scanned documents. And oftentimes, what we've heard from customers, and this is an actual customer use case, they want to take these documents and uh, hundreds of them that they receive and they want to put it into an Excel and keep a running log of them. And then at some point, these become transferred into an uh, internal app that they submit. So let me show you how Clipboard AI can make this simple. So Clipboard AI is uh, able to detect your active window on your computer. It's a simple add-in that you install. And then after you do that, you can simply say copy window, which I'm gonna do in this case. It's gonna analyze this document to be able to parse out all the various structural elements, know how to do it through AI and be able to do a smart paste. So I'm gonna then go to this Excel and it recognizes that it's an Excel application, not another application I'm pasting into, and then simply be able to take that information and paste it all in. Now, the example I showed here is where there was two aspects to it. One was there was a header information with a PO number and then a table with the actual parts information. So it was able to do those two separately. Uh, what I also want to show next is though that sometimes I don't need, really need the header information and all I care about is the table. So if in Excel, if you're doing this repeatedly, one of the things Clipboard AI can do is it can let you paste in a very structured manner. So in this particular case, I'm going to just paste the table and it recognizes that by knowing that there's column headers, it's intelligent about target applications. And then I also have a formula to be able to sum it up. And uh, indeed, the total amount equates to what the, uh, what the particular code I got. So that's one example of how you can use Clipboard AI, and it can help you with the automation and reducing manual copy-paste operations. Uh, one thing I did want to give a heads up to everyone is that Autopilot, you can imagine some of the capabilities I showed for Autopilot for everyone. You will be, in the future, be able to use these kind of capabilities natively with an Autopilot as well. But uh, uh, the, uh, I want to show you one other example before we move into an ID use case. So very often, um, and we, we covered this, I think Alex showed in the developer demo, you have to copy information from Excel to web form. So there's existing applications that exist uh, where you have to manually copy paste information. So what I'm going to show you in this example is uh, that... I'm going to take these three rows. So I've got, imagine I'm doing signups for autopilot or for various products or customers. And uh, there's an internal app that is used to store that information and be able to generate customer outreach emails, or in this case, close the loop with the people who signed up. So I'm simply going to be able to ask Clipboard AI to copy these cells. It's going to analyze it again. And then I'm going to paste it to this destination app. So notice it changes instead of paste in Excel, it changes to paste to form. It recognizes that. And let's see how it's going to be able to uh, be able to diagnose what is the structure of the form. So it, it now knows uh, uh, what field maps to what and is able to plug in my first row directly in there. Whether it's a drop down, it's a combo box, it's intelligent enough to figure out that aspect. But not only that, imagine if I had 100 rows of these and the, it's going to say, OK, I'm done with the first one. Can uh, Do you want me to submit the second one? So there is a human in the loop element where I'm going to first submit that button. And this particular app, I wanted to rotate the information so it jumbles it up to show you that 
Flipboard AI can figure out whether the schema changes. It doesn't need to be an exact, it's a semantic match. So it's intelligently using AI for that. So let's let's paste it into the second one. And that should go, that should be the second row that uh, automatically gets matched and pasted into. So here you go. That second one was Goldner Bank with a different set of information. And uh, Clipboard AI was able to do that. Similarly, I can hit submit now. And then I, it'll, I'll, I'll paste that information for the next row if I want it. Or I can just say, hey, I'm done with these two. And now I have to go on my lunch break. I'll come back and I can resume at that point. So that, that is uh, two examples of Clipboard AI. I wanted to show one other example, which is that Clipboard AI um, has the power of uh, all the generative and, uh, sorry, the specialized models built in. So I can take as an example, an ID card, and I can paste that into a document as well. In this case, I'm just gonna paste it in Excel, but I also wanted to show you what is happening and what you can do with Clipboard AI that is special outside of um, the, the particular case before. In this case, it, you can see all the fields that Clipboard AI extracted, and it also shows you visually where in the document it extracted those fields from and which model it used. So as I mentioned, we have at UiPath a lot, a lot of specialized models that come out of box. Uh, NYS passport receipt, you can you can have a lot of these that you can leverage out of the box, or you can generate your own if you want uh, very specialized to the documents that you process. The whole goal here is that precision is kept top in mind, precision and performance. And that's what um, this uh, particular product and also the autopilot products will be able to do. Hey, Ron, that was fantastic. I mean, I feel like that's the way copy and pasting should have been set up from the beginning. And you all and the, the, the fantastic product team and engineering team have brought it to life. It's awesome. Thanks, Joe. I'm super excited about the potential of both Clipboard AI, all the learnings you've gotten over the last 18 months and incorporating that into Autopilot. Awesome. Uh, the other aspect I wanted to share about Autopilot that we've heard from customers is it's great that UiPath is providing these first party applications to be able to perform developer test and everyone productivity scenarios that we demoed but they also want to incorporate autopilot into the apps that they're building. So what we will expose and our fine tuning is this ability for these automations to be leveraged either built by a COE or built by out of the box that we ship uh, in external apps. Um, so that, that is a capability you can leverage. You can also, uh, we'll be able to leverage the intelligence we're building into autopilot about next steps, next actions, uh, execution of them, automatically inferring parameters, uh, and, and be able to leverage enterprise context through RAG. Those are all capabilities we plan on opening up and enabling uh, uh, you know, companies to leverage outside of first party app. Nice. nice. I, I love that the product team has the foresight on this because I think we all know that um, every App out there is going to have its own kind of AI assistant, right? But there's not too many companies that are looking at how we can marry this, these capabilities across apps, across uh, OSs, like you were mentioning before. I think Autopilot has an uh, incredible potential there to, to kind of glue those together. Uh, yeah, and yeah, because it comes back to our vision is that, you know, we want to help with employee productivity and time savings and delight in doing work. And whether that comes through usage of our first party apps or other apps, that is uh, equally as important to us. Yeah. Well, maybe you can share some other use cases that, that you've heard of for Autopilot so far, Imran. Yes, so these are just some examples of what we will enable, what we're enabling both internal employees to use currently with UiPath Autopilot, but also what customers as part of the early adopter program are telling us they wanna use it for. So it's things ranging from finance workflows, processing digital paperwork like I showed examples of, onboarding new employees and guiding them through their processes, ordering equipment um, are all part of the gray hair. And then we'll, we'll keep building these uh, additionally as we learn more from customers. And some of these will get translated into out-of-box capabilities that will come with the platform. Yeah, just like uh, generating test cases with Autopilot for, for testers uh, has no end. I think the use cases for Autopilot for everyone have no end. It's really exciting to see these. That's right. And then I think uh, we will we can leverage partners to help build additional ones that either we can build out of the box or companies aren't building custom for their workflows. Absolutely. Well, that, that's a great segue into what's next, you know, for both 
partners and customers who were like, I want to get my hands on these autopilots, right? Um, so we, we have kind of two main calls to action here for you. Um, as you all heard in the, in the main session today, Autopilot for Developers and Testers is going GA in June. So definitely stay tuned for that. Um, but in the meantime, we have active previews going on with a, a ton of our AI products that, that you've seen today in, in the summit. Um, so our, our guidance here is just sign up for the Insider Preview Program if you're not already a member. Make sure that you have AI as an interest and we'll be sure to share the, um, the existing previews with you as well as the ones that are on the horizon. And lastly, I think we also wanted to mention to folks that for Autopilot, for everyone in, in particular, um, we really want to work hand in glove with you all in, in how we roll this out and um, explore use cases with you. So we have a dedicated wait list um, specific to Autopilot for everyone that, that we encourage you to um, join, share more on the use cases that you have in mind. And uh, as Imran was saying, I think the, the use cases are truly endless. Uh, Imran, anything else you'd add here about what you're looking for for um, the people who are, are joining the wait list? You know, I'm just super excited to learn about what you want to use it for, how we can help out of box improve our capabilities. And so the more feedback we get at this stage, the better for us and the better products we'll build for you. Excellent. Excellent. Well, thank you, everybody, for your time today. And Imran, thank you as well. And thank you to everybody on the product team who's, who's bringing these to life. Can't wait to see what customers and partners do with Autopilot. Thank you all. Have a good rest of the summit. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Imran, for that insightful presentation, quite practical, good information there. I also want to thank everyone else for joining us today for this session. This session, along with all of today's content, will be available on demand following the event. And our next session will begin at 12.40 p.m. Eastern Time, and that will be a keynote presentation titled Building Better Business Outcomes and Value with AI. Please click on the Join button that will appear on your screen to be redirected to that session, and we look forward to seeing you there.